Hello everyone, I'm here with another Wayfinder video. In this boss guide, we will take a look at the under boss fight, the Argon Commander. You will notice that my power rating has been synced to 1700 as I am fighting him on the Sphere 3 difficulty. The Archon Commander boss fight consists of three phases and I will explain them throughout the encounter. First, the leap attack, where the boss telegraphs his landing location with a red circle on the ground and then jumps and slams into the marked location. Make sure to avoid the attack by dodging or if you are a Wingrave player be sure to block this attack. However, you will be taking some damage. Next, the sword combo consists of three consecutive attacks, left swing, right swing and a lunging thrust attack. These attacks can be blocked. If you are aiming to parry and counter attack, make sure to hold the block until the last hit lands on the shield and then counter attack. The frontal energy slice attack, the boss will slice the air with his sword. This is a frontal medium range attack that can be blocked or dodged. A specific shield rush attack is aimed at the ranged players and deals a good amount of armor break damage as well as stagger, be sure to dodge it. Being a melee wing grave, boss actually didn't use this attack. Next we have the overhead energized sword slam, where the boss will hold up his sword in the air, quickly energizing it and then slamming it to the ground, making a ravine of molten energy toward his intended target. Again you can block this attack but you will be taking some damage. Phase 2 begins when the Archon Commander holds his sword high and summons Shadow Warrior allies. The Archon Commander will continue attacking with all the previously mentioned attacks, which will be stronger and even more devastating in the later stages of the fight. In the first part of the fight, you can expect the Shadow Warriors and Shadow Lancers to cover roughly about half of the two squares available space still leaving you enough space to maneuver and avoid attacks. fight will become more hectic and harder in the later stages of this phase, when the Shadow Warriors cover roughly 3 quarters of the available space. My best advice to you in this part of the fight is to stay near the middle of the arena and try to anticipate attacks. Being a supportive engrave, these fights tend to take a bit longer than usual. Please stay with me for the last phase.
Finally, the third and last phase begins and the boss teleports to the middle of the arena and starts casting continuously devastating area attacks. This phase is basically a DPS check and you have to kill him before the timer rounds out, else he will wipe you and you have to start again. GG is down, regarding the loot we got an Archon's Prisma and a Vestige of Miss Shadow. Great job. I hope you enjoyed the video, if that is the case please give it a like. For more content like this please follow my channel and see you in the next video.